almost a year ago, I was Silver Creek Falls, just got out of jail, been living the life of what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it. The only time I thought about God was when I was either going to court or I got pulled over. But my perception of God then and my perception of God now and my perception of biker, because when I first saw their bikes coming around, my, coming around to the car, I said, oh my God, there's some bikers. <laughs> I said, we better be careful because I heard they're mean. But then we come around the corner. I'm like, don't even look that way, Alexis. You know, to my daughter, you know, I'm thinking, just stay away from them. But then they come up to us and they're really nice, gentle people start talking to me about God. I thought, whoa, that's weird. Why are they here talking to me about God? Because that's what I believe in. I just got out there and motivated them. I'm, I'm going somewhere. I want to help kids. I want to help. I want to be a part of change. And so a lot of people are like, yeah, that's what happens when you get out of jail. That's, everybody says the same thing. What's well, been a year now, and what I've started is called Community Remodels. And what I do with that money from people is I donate it to kids to help motivate them and inspire them to work hard for what they believe in. And that life's always going to be full of disappointments, but other people's choices doesn't have to be your choice today. So one day I go to my pastor that, I'm, that I go to church and I go, what do I do, Steve? I'm so excited, I wanna do this, I can feel it. And he's like, well, it's the Holy Spirit in your heart. And he tells me the story of, uh, you know, God knew before he walked to the cross what was gonna happen and the hard work that he had to do and the hard road it was gonna take. Are you ready for the commitment? And I said, oh my God, dude, you know I'm lazy. I thought, yeah, I guess. And so then I started doing it and doing it. And I worked for the union for a long time. And one day I thought, you know what? I'm done, man. I, this isn't what I want to do. So I started just working for myself, working for myself. And, and, and then I don't know if it's been, I've been so busy that I can't, I don't even know where it's coming from. And I, and I know it's a blessing. I know it is. And I tell my brothers every day, it's like, I don't deserve it, man. I've never felt this way before where I'm getting by the abundance and but you know I work every day and I try really hard because with what I believe in I feel that I can make a change and so um, this is kind of where my story is and uh, thank you for listening to me here today and if you know of anything or anybody that needs any handiwork let me know before I leave <laughs> and um, I should have a web page put together and um, I'm, I'm hoping that through what I'm doing and through my story, through my actions, I feel that hopefully that the next person, and my motto is pass it on, pass it on to the next guy, you know, help him out, help him believe that the, what you just gave him is through the blessing, it's not because we're entitled to it or we deserve it. And this is how I feel. And thanks guys. George is just, an example of, of, of how it happens out on the road. Um, we just, we run into to, to people that they don't think they need us. And then the next minute they can't get rid of us because they need us. 